this isn't the first time that Israel has removed the monster energy drink from the table he's sitting at. In 2019, he put out something saying, some things money can't buy, like actual friends, integrity, or real skills. So Israel is saying doesn't dislike Monster Energy because it tastes weird or anything like that. He dislikes it because somebody that works there is forcing him to kind of do promotions and take pictures with him against his will, kind of, if he wants to keep getting Monster Energy money and sponsorships. The guy that's making Israel of Sanya throw these Monster Energy cans across the room is this guy here by the name of Hans Mollenkamp, an executive at Monster Energy. Israel Asani is not the only person that dislikes Hans Mollenkamp. Dominic Cruz, in his post-fight interview, when given the opportunity to pick his next fight, he picked Hans Mollenkamp for a charity fight. There's a guy named Hans Mollenkamp who's been holding a lot of fighters hostage. Been saying he's an awesome pro fighter, that he could take out everybody, and he's picking his fights. I would love for Monster to pick a charity of their choice. On his Twitter, it says, Brand Builder, CEO, Slash Director, Photographer, Designer, Metal Fabrication, Nak Moy, Listen, Jocko, BJJ, Black Belt. So he does have some fighting experience. And uh, me and Hans go at it. He's got 100 pounds on me. He says he's got a ton of surgeries. I got a ton of surgeries. He's been, he's been uh, forcing us to comment on his photos, forcing us to do videos and pictures with them, just in order to hold our contracts hostage. So let's see you put your money where your mouth is, Hans, and wow. let's do something for charity. Ali Abdelaziz had commented about this, saying, Today, Dominic Cruz shined a light on a very sad situation in MMA. This monster sponsorship guy is like a modern-day slave master, making Hall of Famers, UFC champions, and some people I really respect kiss his ass. He tried to get some of my champions to play this game, but they would not do it. So for that reason, he never gave them a sponsor. He tried to have other managers to steal Henry Cejudo from me to offer a monster deal to leave me, but we already, that I body bagged them, and we already know what kind of guy Henry really is. Loyal as they come. Also, we had a situation with Cody, Kamaro, and they refused to sell their soul like Henry didn't. Monster is a great brand and it's great for the sport, but this individual deserves an ass whooping. He'll probably love that he's getting plugged like this, to be honest. So it's actually a benefit for him. So he should thank me. That we're in a day and age where you can, if I take a picture with Conor McGregor like this, now I'm Conor McGregor's friend, right? If I take a picture with Dominic Cruz and have, a bu have him commenting on my, on my page, we're in a day and age where that looks like we're friends. Well, I mean, I may be your friend, but you can't use me in order to get clout, as they put it. So it's not like they're not willing to do things for Monster Energy, the company, like take pictures for the company. It's the fact that they're doing things for this guy, this executive, who is wanting them to do things that don't necessarily promote the brand. It just promotes him personally. And I'm just... I'm not here to be used. I work very hard. Look at my face. Look at my body. I get beat to, beat to death for a living. So when you try to force me and you text me, if I don't comment on your page, if I don't give you an interview that you're going to take what pays my bills, what are we doing? Monster sponsors me, not you. You trapped in a contract with this guy? It's not trapped in a contract. It's forced to give him clout, forced to hype him up if I want to make money. Let's do a charity event. Monster picks the charity, and then we, we scrap it out. You know, he's a pro, He says he's got three pro fights. Let's prove it. Put your money where your mouth is. You got a little tiny guy calling you out for charity, not for anything else. Why not? Now, Dana White and Hans had gotten to it a few years back when Hans, I guess, made up a story about how Rob Deerdeck and Dana White met. He said, you want to know how Rob Deerdeck and Dana White became best friends? Rob and I go back to the 90s, skateboarding. DC Shoes and his OGTF in San Diego. I've shot him for Skate Mags and Rolling Stone, etc. So I took Rob and Big to the first UFC and had to convince them, the people at the UFC, they were cool and legit celebrities. The Rob and Big show had just dropped and was already a hit, but they still had no idea. LOL. They actually put us in horrible seats until it caused such a problem with security, they moved us to the floor. Yeah, times have changed. F with me and meet new friends. LOL. That's when Dana White responded saying, biggest crock of crap ever. When I see every one of your posts, I think, is this guy joking right now or is he actually serious? I met you through Tiki. When Tiki asked me to take a picture with the t-shirt, he asked me to wear. I'm assuming you met most of the fighters through Tiki. 
you walk up to people and have someone secretly taking pics and then post pics like you were in some meeting and post corny stuff like soaring with eagles. I usually just laugh and say, is he effing serious right now? I don't know exactly what you do for Monster Energy, but it seems like you decide which fighter gets a sponsorship and which one doesn't. So I'm sure that's why they let you post the crazy stuff like you attempting to spar with them and other goofy stuff. I didn't become best friends with Rob through you and you are far from being the guy who influences the influencers. Stop blowing smoke up everyone's ass. Now the post has been deleted. I'm guessing by the person who created it in the first place, which was Hans. But Dana White touched on Dominic Cruz calling out Hans, Marlon Camp, and discusses the problem and the relationship between Monster Energy and the UFC. Yeah, listen, it's it's all it's all weird. Um, is Hans a goofy dude? Yeah, he's a very goofy dude. Uh, but they're a sponsor. I, I mean, these guys are a sponsor. That they're they're great sponsors. They pay these guys a lot of money. Um, you know, Monster is one of these companies that really, really takes care of people, and it's their company. They can sponsor whoever they want. Um, they can run their business however they want. This isn't um, isn't like a isn't like a work situation where you're working for somebody and you're not happy about the way you're being treated. This this is a sponsorship deal. You know, these guys can spend their money and run their company however they want to. And nobody's guaranteed money from a sponsor. It's a privilege to get money from a sponsor. If you don't like the way they do business, don't do business with them, you know? But they've been good, they've been good to us, they've been good to the sport, and they've definitely been good to the fighters. I get it, he, do, he doesn't like him, and you know, some guys have a problem with him, and you know, it's easy to figure that one out. But Monster is a company, they've been solid, man. They couldn't be any better. I remember the first time that I ever talked to the owner to do a deal with those guys, we had talked about numbers, and then he was like, yeah, no, I wanna give the fighters an extra 25,000. And I was like, holy shit. He's like, yeah, no, we take care of people, and we, you know, they're, they're a damn good company, solid, and they take care of people. So it seems as if the guy who's in charge of determining who gets a sponsorship or not is basically using his power for evil and making people do oddball jobs that don't necessarily have to do with promoting the brand Monster Energy, which is kind of messed up. And the fighters seem like they had enough with it. So we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below between all this stuff. Um, yeah.